about this is there's no right or wrong about this you know we're trying to give a framework of how to fit the movement of our feet into a real clean rhythm but you can move any way you want to and if you didn't quite get it don't worry it'll come to you it's just a matter of uh, practice and repetition i think i'm going to come next week on a regular basis so yes. it takes just a little bit of time each week to fit the dancing in and really it'll make you a better musician too because you'll understand the rhythm so much more. And it'll just make you feel good because it's great to move the music. And thanks, thanks to Aaron and this great band up there. Thanks, Dan. Yay! Okay. Yay. 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 What's that? Do you want two minutes of you dancing doing your thing? Yes, we'd yeah. like to see that. Yeah. I want to see it too. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So Aaron suggested that I be a precision clock. And I'm a traditional clock. And I have flat clock. Yeah. And the, so it's kind of like a cymbal on a drum, and they make a more sound, and they make a lot of really fancy sounds, rhythms, but you won't hear that from me because I just have flat taps. And again, the reason we wear taps is just so you hear the sound more clearly, and it's also kind of cleaner. So I'm just gonna, they're gonna play, and I'm just gonna do a little <coughs> short demo, and it'll be more than just a basic step, what we just learned. Yeah. 